Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Before we start, do subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSC Mathematics Paper 3 Core 0580 Variant 31 May June 2020 Part 2 from question number 4 onwards. Question number 4a. Complete the table of values for y is equal to x plus 2x minus x square. We just have to replace the x with negative 1 and 3. A very easy to mark. Just remember that when you are substituting, put the brackets correctly like this. And we will get 4. When we substitute 0, we will get 7. And we substitute 3, we are going to get 4. Part B on the grid, draw the graph of y is equal to 7 plus 2x minus x square for the values of x from negative 2 till 4. These are our x values and these are the corresponding y values. x values, so when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. x is negative 1, y is 4, 0, y is 7, x is 1, y is 8 x is 2, y is 7, when x is 3, y is 4, and when x is 4, y is negative 1. We just have to draw it together. Remember, when you are drawing, it should be a u-shape and not like a triangle like this. And that's how easily you get your 4 marks. Part C, write down the equation of the line of symmetry of the graph. Line of symmetry is it cuts the line, the graph into two equal parts. You can see that the wherever your peak is, there, your minimum or maximum value, draw a straight line there. So that is your line of symmetry when x is equal to 1. Next. Use your graph to solve the equation 7 plus 2x minus x square is equal to 0. This is when it is equal to 0 when y is equal to 0. So we have to look at the x-axis. We got our two points here, this and this. We got two x values. One is x is equal to negative 1.7 and x is equal to 3.8. You can have any values between negative 1.9 to negative 1.7 or between and including 3.7 to 3.9. They give you marks for a little variation. Question number five. Using the integers from 60 to 75 only, find a multiple of 17. The easy way to do this is in your calculator, multiply 17 by 1, 17 by 2, and see which number you are getting, which is between 60 and 75. You will get 17 times 4 is equal to 68. So that is your answer. And then for A2, we need to write down the prime numbers. Either uh, you know it, or if you don't, Write down all the numbers, 61, 62. Prime numbers are those numbers that are only divisible by 1 or itself. So all even numbers cannot are not prime numbers except 2. So we cancel out all our even numbers. So these cannot be prime numbers. Then all the numbers ending with 0 or 5 cannot be prime numbers. So that is cancelled. Now you are left with... 61, 63, 67, 69, 71, and 73. Divide the numbers by 3 also to check whether it is divisible by 3 or not. And you will see that 63 is cancelled and 69 is cancelled. You are left with 61, 67, 71, and 73. You can check with other numbers also, but they are not divisible. These are your prime numbers. B, find the square root of 4489. 
in the calculator write square root and write 4489 you will get the answer sorry you will get the answer 67 4 to the power of 3 again use the calculator answer is 64 cube root 274625 you can use the calculator and you will get the answer 65 Question number 4, 2 to the power of negative 3 multiplied by 24 square. Same thing using a calculator and getting the answer as 72. Very easy question, very easy marks. Now moving on to the C part. Write down the reciprocal of 7. Reciprocal means we just write it upside down. So we have 7 over 1. We cannot see that one, but there's always a one down. So the reciprocal is one over seven. Next, write 3.72194 correct to three decimal places. So we count the three decimal places, draw a line. The number after the line, if it is five or more, you add one to the number which is before the line. So what will we get? 3.72, one plus one, two. Part E, find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 14. There are many ways to solve this question. To find the LCM, I'm showing you the one which is the basic, very easy one. So write down the 14 times table. I'm starting with the big number first. 14 times 1 is 14. 14 times 2. 14 times 3. 14 times 4. Do you see any number which is divisible by 8? 56 is, so we stop there. You want to write the 8 times table? You can write the 8 times table. So I've written down 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2, 16, 8 times 3, till 8 times 7, 56. So this is the common in both. So the lowest common multiple is 56. Now for the F question. The average temperature at the North Pole is negative 23 degrees centigrade in January and negative 11 degrees centigrade in March. Find the difference between these temperatures. So which is the big number here? Negative 11. Difference means you subtract minus 23. This will give you 12 degrees centigrade. Always remember that the negative number, even though if you see like uh, this is 11 and this is 23, you may think 23 is big. No, the negative number, the smaller number is bigger. So negative 11 minus minus 23 will give us 12. F2, the average temperature in July is 28 degrees centigrade higher than the average temperature in March. Find the average temperature in July. So negative 11, it's higher, so we add plus 28, will give us 17 degrees centigrade as the answer. Question number 6. We have been given a circle with center O and radius 11 centimeter. And the point C, F, G, H are all on the circle and the line AD touches the circle at C and it is parallel to the line EG. B is a point on AD and A, the angle APO is 140 degrees. So a lot of information has been given to us. Before we continue, I will appreciate that you like the video if I've helped you and leave your feedback in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe let's continue write down the mathematical name of the straight line AD AD is touching the circle at one point C when the line touches a circle at a single point that is called a tangent next find in terms of pi the circumference of the circle 
To find the circumference of the circle, we use the formula 2 pi r. Our radius is 11, so 2 multiplied by 11 is 22 pi. Work out the angle FOH. So this is the angle we want to find. We know that these two lines are parallel. If two lines are parallel, the in opposite interior angles are equal to 180. So FOH plus ABO should equal to 180. Therefore, 180 minus 140 will give us the angle FOH. 40 degrees. B3 calculate the length of the minor arc FH. Now we need to find this length. We got the angle in the middle which is 40. We got the radius which is 11. There's a formula to find this. Arc length is equal to theta over 360. Theta is our angle multiplied by 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is our circumference. Anyway, we can just redo the whole thing or use what we got from before. 40 divided by 360, multiply by 2, multiply by pi, multiply by 11. 11 is our radius. Put the whole thing in the calculator. We'll get the answer 7.679. We can round it to one decimal place or two decimal places. We'll round it to two decimal place. So we draw a line here. If this number is five or more, we have to add one. It is nine. So we add one to the previous number. Answer is 7.68 centimeter. Question number 6C1. Give a reason why angle BCO is 90 degrees. So the angle between the tangent and the radius is always 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. This is the reason you have to write. Next, show that BC, this line BC, is equal to 13.11 centimeter, correct to two decimal places. Now we know that this is a straight angle. Therefore, angle BOC Sorry, OBC is equal to 40. 140 min 180 minus 140 is 40. So you have a triangle here. B, C, and O. This is 11 centimeter. This is 40. And you want to find BC. If you have one angle and one side and you want to find another side, you need to use trigonometry. Trigonometry, the three identities that we use are Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite means the angle is opposite. The side is opposite the angle we are finding. And hypotenuse is the side which is opposite the right angle. Adjacent means next to. So now we want to find BC. BC is next to the angle 40. So that is adjacent. Do we have the hypotenuse? We don't have. We got the adjacent is BC. Then we got opposite. Opposite is 11 centimeter. So what does that tell us? We can use the trig identity of 10. We will write 10. Theta is the angle. So 10, 40 is equal to opposite, which is 11, over adjacent, which is BC. We have to find BC, so BC has to be the subject. So we cross multiply. We write BC on the top and 10, 40 in the denominator. We will get the answer 13.109. We have to round it to two decimal place. Same rule. If the number is five or more, we add one to the previous number. So that will give us 13.11. We proved it. Also, if you want to memorize the trig identities, 
write it like that and memorize and say so ka to a next part 3 we need to find bh to find bh you can either use the pythagoras theorem now we got the side we know that this is 13.11 so this is 13.11 and bh is here but first we will have to find bo so you can use either trigonometry or pythagoras theorem we want to find the hypotenuse i'm using uh, pythagoras theorem for now so it is a square plus b square is equal to c square where c is our hypotenuse so if you want to find c you will write square root a square plus b square our hypotenuse is bo and the other two sides we have are 11 and 13.11 square this will give us bo is equal to 17.11 but we want bh so to find bh from 17.11 we minus the radius oh we know is 11 so we minus 11 that will give us 6.11 cm question number 7a 20 students from college a each run 5 km the times correct to the nearest minute are recorded complete the stem and leaf diagram key is given to us always we have to look at the key 3 4 represents 34 minutes so let's find the key starting with 2 we have 25 21 and 29 so we start from the smallest to the biggest 2 is already written we write 1 that will tell us it's 25 20 21 25 and 29 so this has been finished then we start with 3 same way we are going to do and complete the table if you get repeated numbers we got 232 year and year so write it two times 39 also are two this and this so write that two times i finished the table be very careful count all your numbers this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 2 20 that 20 students so do you have 20 values 1 2 3 4 5 5 count like that it should be same it's very easy to miss one value so be careful with that find the range of the times to find the range we take the highest value minus the lowest value our highest value is 53 and our lowest value is 21 that will give us 32 minutes find the median of the times to find the median we need to find the middle value this is an even number 20 so we will need to find two values and then divide by 2 okay for this what we can do is start from the side here from the end and one cancel one by one we cancel 3 then one like this and you will be left with two numbers 7 and 9 so you have 37 and 39 add them together and divide by 2 this will give us 38 as our median did you understand this how to do it cancel one from here one from here one from here one from here or you can even take 3 three, three together like you cancel 3 from here cancel 3 from here 3 from here 3 from here 2 from here 2 from here and one from your one from your we just need to find our middle values if you find this complicated re rearrange this you have already arranged it here write it like that in full numbers and then cancel out and find which is your mid value median means the mid value part 4 of the question complete the bar chart for the times of the students this is the stem and leaf uh, graph that we made 
and the first bar has been done for us from 20 to 29. So 20 to 29, there are three, one to three. So we have three bars here. The number of students are three, the frequency, this is the frequency. Now we have from 30 to 39. So it will be here. And the frequency is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will go up till here. Let's draw it. Next we have 40 to 49. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is here. And then for 5, we have only 2. So that was a very easy 2 mark question. Now moving on to part B. 20 students from College B each run 5 kilometers. Their times correct to the nearest minute are recorded and the results are shown in the table. So this is the time, this is the number of students and the pie chart sector angle has been given to us. We have to complete the table. To find the sector angle, we take the value that we have here, 8, the number of students frequency over the total frequency and multiply by 360. This will give us 144. Then for the second one, 7 over 20 multiply by 360. This will give us 126. Now we have to complete the pie chart. We already have the sector angles 90, 144 and 126. Using the protractor, place it like this and mark 90. We start with 90. So this is 90. Then next we'll measure 144. So place your protractor like that. This is 140. So 144 is going to be somewhere here. Mark it. And then we draw the line. So this is 144 degrees and the other one will be 126. Now part C, write down two comments comparing the times of students from college A with the times of students from college B. This is college B and college A is. And you can write anything that you can understand. Here we have students having uh, as low as 21, uh, 25 and 29 here the lowest is from 30 to 39 so that is one uh, comparison you can make the other comparison you can make is there were there were five more, uh, more students who uh, from college b who, who took the time between 50 to 59 minutes to run whereas in college a there were only two students so there were five students more from college B who took time between 50 to 59 minutes than college A. Or you can write that there were seven students who took time between 50 to 55, 59 minutes from college B, whereas there were only two students from college A. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. For question number eight onwards, please watch part three. Do not forget to like the video if I, if I have helped you and leave your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching.